Hey guys and welcome back to another FIFA Predicts. Uh, this is a championship special. We're going to see who's coming up from the championship, going to be playing Premier League football next season. Um, and there's a really, really important couple of games. Um, I've written them down, as usual. Uh, Brentford versus Wigan. If Brentford win and Derby lose, um, they essentially switch places and grab the last playoff space. So. What I thought I'd do is have a little twist on the usual episodes and play both the Brentford and the Derby game so we can see ourselves who is going to go up to the Premier or who is going to have uh, that last spot to get a chance to go into the Premier League rather. Um, obviously you don't automatically qualify, you have to play a series of games um, to get there but Brentford will have a huge chance if they can get past Wigan and that's what we're going to do first we're going to go ahead into the Brentford game and see how we get on We already know that Watford have progressed, uh, they finished top of the league, they will be playing Premier League football next season. Uh, mathematically, uh, Bournemouth are up, they're safe, they will be finishing in second place um, and getting automatic promotion. Unless of course Charlton can win, I think 19-0, which is never going to happen is it? Um, so yeah, they, they're pretty much up. That's two of the teams uh, out of three. Just this playoff space to play for now. And I'm sure a lot of teams will be looking to get it. Um, Derby particularly, they've had a really good season. Um, they've slipped a little bit in this final kind of section of the of the season. Teams do tend to drop off and, and not have the, the, not the motivation, but they don't seem to be able to carry on. At the start of the season, Forest, um, a team that I follow and are close to my heart, um, they <laughs> they looked like they were going to do well. They were top of the league for a number of weeks, had a real, real good start to the season um, under Stuart Pearce, and it just kind of fell away for them. They didn't really do much um, after Christmas, losses started coming in, Stuart Pearce um, left the club. Um, yeah, so so quite a disappointing year for them really. They thought that they were going to be able to do it and we've just conceded. Uh, so Brentford are in danger of losing this now. Callum McManaman for Wigan. Odebajo always finding space this guy. Looking great. Cuts inside again. Inside the box this time. Didn't go down. Judge. Hits the post, comes out to Douglas. Now Pritchard, able to get into the box. He does so, puts it at the keeper. Good save in the end. There we go, it's half time. We're 1 0 down. Ideally, we would have wanted to be at least level at the break at this stage. Jota runs into the box, very good movement, oh my god, and he scores, he does, under the legs of the goalkeeper, twisting and turning in the box, just to get around that defence, it was quite, quite tight that angle, through the legs of the goalkeeper, should have really saved that, should have definitely saved that in fact. But there we go, it's 1-1, Brentford right back in this now, with only a few minutes left to play. And it all happened when we switched the, uh, when we switched the um, formation, 
We've got another goal up now. That's Gray. I think that's back for that one. Very calmly taken. Beyond the goalkeeper. And it looks like the substitution and the formation change has definitely worked. Good. Through ball into Gray. Odubajo. The tramp didn't work. Back into Gray. Gray nods it home. That's 3 1 Brentford. The tramp goal didn't work, so we swung it back in and he manages to get to the head before the goalkeeper. Four Wigan defenders all around the goalkeeper there. Very poor defending. Threw into Pritchard. Pritchard puts us another goal up. 4 1. After going a goal down, I'm very happy now. We've um, run rampant in the second half. Good goal. Well worked by Pritchard. There we go, guys. The first game is over. Brentford winning. Well, I was going to say very, very comfortably, but... The first half was all over the place. It was only really the second half that we managed to sort it out a little bit and get it together. So, 4-1 win. And Gray, really the star of the show in that second half. Done really well. And it's all over to that derby game now. To see who will be making that last playoff position. Here we go, guys. Here's the derby versus Reading game. Derby should win this. Reading been really, really poor in their last six games. Just going to have a quick look. Two draws, four losses. So two points from six games. Derby unbeaten in those six games. With two of those being wins. So, as I said, Derby have dropped off a little bit. Not as good as they started the season but still a much, much better performance and much worthy, uh, much more worthy winners than, than Reading in this game. But anything can happen. You know, football is football. Anything could happen in this. And being the final game of the season, both teams will be looking to spoil each other's glory, if you like. I can't believe it. Reading have gone 1-0 up through a piece of scrappy play. Is that Simon Cox that's managed to grab that one? Look at that. Very, very poor defending. Great pass to find Cox at the back of the defence there. No chance. There we go. Again, we go in 1 0 down at the break. Not good play. I'm going to make a few alterations and see if we can get that changed in the second half. I was waiting for Jordan Ibe to make a run. He didn't. Bryson now picks it up in a good position. Able to run at the defence. Cuts inside. Puts it at the keeper and beyond. 1-1. One, 1-1, one. <laughs> one, one, rather. Again, we pull one back. And if we can go on to win from here, again, it must be a tactical change that's, that's done that. We've looked much better since the second half. And there we go. Who was that? It was Russell. I thought we were going to be flagged offside around then, but able to pass it into the box. No defenders around him, slots home and puts us in front. That's the most important thing. 77, 77 minutes played. 
and now we have Martin coming off for Leon Best. Great ball through to Russell and he manages to bag another goal. I thought he'd just over hit that. Keeper should have picked it up. Look how much he overhits that. Just nothing, no response at all from the keeper. Should have used his feet. As it stands, Derby County will be in the playoffs. There we go, guys, the end of the game. Derby County have earned that playoff position. Well deserved. And the final score was 3-1. Brilliant game. Again, we picked up in the second half after making those changes. Happened very similarly in the um, similarly in the uh, first game with Brentford. Um, just kind of prefer this formation. Uh, very similar to what they were were already playing. Um, it just you're just able to throw more men at the ball essentially in the final third. Um, but also not worry as much when coming back because you've got those two players rooted in front of the defence. So really like that formation um, and it's earned me quite a few points. But there we go guys, thank you very very much for watching. Do join us next time, like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. Um, even write to us on Twitter. There you go, whatever you want. Have a good day and I shall see you soon. Bye bye.